If somebody want to walk out of your life, let them go. It's all right. Sit around, be depressed for a minute, cry about it, do whatever you have to, but don't stay there too long. Get up and go on with your life. Especially if you know you done done everything you can do, you done sat around and been the best man or the best woman you could be and they still want to go, let them go. Whatever they running after, they'll see what they had in a minute, but by then it's going to be too late. Because half these people you be sitting around crying about and worry about two, three years from now, you ain't going to even remember their last name. Let folks go, son. Some people come in your life for a lifetime. Some come for a season. You got to know which is which. No matter how much it hurt, let them go. And it'll get easy. I promise you every day it'll get easier and easier and easier. But you just got to make it through. Don't worry about the people that God has removed from your life. He heard conversations you couldn't hear. He saw things you didn't see. You can either have success or revenge. You can't help it. Have you ever been left? If you are not careful, you will undervalue who stayed, trying to get back who left. Because sometimes there's nothing really sexy about being dependable, about being stable, about hanging in there, about being by your side. If you're not careful, you will neglect the people that stayed with you. The principle is profound and provocative that you need to focus on what you got left. The child that stayed, the friend who stuck. The real test of relationship isn't when it's easy, it's when it's hard. Because what I'm going to invest in is what I've got left, not what I lost. The word of God to you is to strengthen what remains. Let this be your last day of crying over who walked away. You will let them go and then only invest in people, the people who are not optioning out of your life, the people who have made a commitment to walk with you the rest of your life. Those are the people that must be strengthened, not neglected, not taken for granted. Most people ignore what they have chasing after what they lost or what they won. What are you going to do with the years you have left? Are you gonna spend the years you have left murmuring and complaining about what happened 10 years ago and five years ago and 12 years ago? I don't care if you got five years left, what are you gonna do with the years you have left you need to take control back of your happiness. Quit putting it in someone else's hands. You're giving them your power. You control your happiness. You have to make up your mind, no matter what people do, no matter what they say, how they treat you, they're not gonna steal your joy. Stay in peace, time is short. Some of you have been hanging on to a hurt for way too long. You don't think you can ever move past it. Bitterness is a daily part of your life. Do you know what bitterness does? It makes you old and mean and angry and spiteful. 
They're as little as ugly as a bitter person. I know it hurt. I know the pain was real, but you have a choice. Will you be bitter and vengeful? Will you hang on to grudges? Or will you release them? Will you nurse the offense and feed the pain? Or will you starve your pain? It's up to you. You have a choice. Choose to release the bitterness. Change your legacy. Let go of that thing that you've been holding on to for way too long. Regardless of what happened in your past, regardless of the hurt and pain, you have incredible worth and value to God. You'll never enjoy everything God has for you until you move on. God will restore your identity, your self-worth, and your self-esteem. It can happen in an instant. Maybe you've been walking around with your head down, believing the lie that you're worthless. You don't have to live with that hurt forever. You can leave the crippled life behind when you realize your great worth. You are not a nobody. You are a child of the king. And you've got a place at the table. You don't have to stay damaged. You can be whole. You don't have to carry around those hurts anymore. You can be fully restored. Accept God's healing. God is saying to you today, leave it alone. Trust me to handle it. I'm going to bring the right person. When you turn it over to God, it takes the pressure off. You don't have to figure it all out. You don't have to strive in strength. It's not up to you to make it all happen. You can live in peace knowing that God's got this. When that door closes, keep your fingers and your feelings out of the door. You'll be tempted to hold on. Why did this happen? It's not fair. Let it go. God is in control of your life. He's the one that opens doors and closes doors. He's the one that changes seasons. You were in spring, now maybe you're going into winter. That means you're getting prepared to blossom in new ways. I've learned God never brings things to an end without having something better coming, something more rewarding, more fulfilling, new relationships. Instead of seeing it as a bad break, Try a new perspective. This was a necessary ending. God stopped it so I could see the greater things He has in store. A lot of times God will remove people out of your life because your season has changed. God is preparing you for something new. When God closes a door, you can't open it. If someone wants to leave, you have to accept that their part in your story is over. Some people are like scaffolding. They come into your life for a season to get you to a certain point. But if they stayed, they would limit your growth. That scaffolding has to come off so you can rise higher. I always like to say that some people are like scaffolding. You put scaffolding around the building to help build a wall. And when the wall is built, you remove the scaffolding. Sometimes God brings people in your life to help help build something. And then when that is built, He removes those people. And you're crying, you're like, why are you God removing those people? It's because the purpose and the reason for which they came has been accomplished. And God is taking them now. And now you can enjoy that building. Now you can see the vision clearly and you can move forward. He brings people in and moves people out. Quit being discouraged over who walked away. If they left you, you didn't need them. If they walked away, let them go. God has new relationships, new opportunities. If you had to have them to fulfill your destiny, they wouldn't be able to leave. You have to accept that it's a necessary ending, that God is changing the season. And they may be a good person, You enjoyed the time together, but to become who you were created to be, they have to exit the stage. You have to move forward into new relationships, new opportunities, new growth. Your future is not connected to people that left. Your future is connected with those who stayed.
And this was a lesson to me that those who left did not take God's destiny for my life. But it's those that stayed are the ones that God is going to be using and God is going to be empowering. So don't focus on those who left. Focus on those that are here, that are with you. Don't get stuck looking back, trying to figure out why didn't it work out? Why did they treat me this way? Just keep moving forward, honoring God, knowing that it was a necessary ending, that God wouldn't have stopped it if he didn't have something better coming. I want you to understand that no matter when endings happen in our life, that you serve a God that can use whatever ending you've gone through to be the birthplace of something new in your life. This is a new day. There are new victories, new opportunities, new relationships. Quit living in what was and come over into what is. Right now, there is freedom for you. Right now, there are new beginnings, joy, peace, victory. And crying over what happened yesterday doesn't bring freedom. Living in regrets of what you could have been, what you should have done, doesn't do anything productive. It's time to drop it and move forward.